Hello friends, you are watching Red Tech Solutions and today in this video I will show you how can we link uh, two containers so with docker compose so in this video I am going to take an example of wordpress and mariadb container and we are going to link that container and we are going to launch it with uh, the help of docker compose so now let us start so first of all I will create a directory I will name it as wordpress and I will go to that directory and here I will create a file docker hyphen compose dot yml and the first thing which we will define is the version and then the services the first service I'm going to create is will be for our database I'll give it as mysql and I'll create with the help of an MariaDB image and the ports I'll link it through 3260 to 3260 and we'll give a volume and we'll get volumes as MySQL where lib mysql and then the environment variable for the root uh, the password now give a root of uh, the uh, database password as example and then we'll create a service and we'll name service as wordpress and we'll use the wordpress image and ports i'll open port number I'll open port number 2000 and I'll link it to 80 from the container and then volume volumes I'll create another volume I'll create a volume named my website underscore data and I'll link it to where triple w html and here we'll uh, give the environment variable and i'll give a uh, wordpress underscore db underscore password as example and that's it we are uh, now one more thing which we have to specify for linking both the containers one will be depends depends on okay or we can uh, leave this uh, depends on also and it is de it depends on the mysql container this one and we'll give one more definition links mysql and for the conflicting with the uh, volume name we'll give it also mysql data and we'll give here volumes and here we have mapped these volumes uh, that we are defining that we are creating these volumes now I'll just write and quit from this file now we'll do docker hyphen compose up so here you can see it has created our wordpress uh, container and mysql container too and i think it's up and running now i'll just open the web browser I will try to access it 
and the web browser first of all you have to give your IP address and then the port number which we have exposed like we have exposed 2000 number port so here you can see the installation of a WordPress page has been opened it is asking for a title so I'll give docker username I'll give uh, like I'll give root password I'll give password and email I'll give and I'll install WordPress I'm installing this because to demonstrate you with that uh, persistent volume which we have mounted so it says that WordPress has been installed successfully it means that the WordPress uh, container is linked with the MySQL container okay it seems everything is working fine I'll try to open our access of our website you can see complete our has been launched and I was talking about the I was talking about the uh, this data which we have mounted the volume which we have mounted so if I'll go to where live docker volumes so if I do ls over here so here you can see the volume which we have created was mysql data and wordpress mysql website data okay I'll go to this mysql data if I do ls over here and I'll go to data so here we have the content of slash where lib and uh, mysql which we have um, mounted here and if i'll go to cd wordpress my website data so similarly here also i have all the php files all the content of my website over here okay so here i can just open my website content and i'll can just edit and do all the changes in my website so here you can see we have opened the website docker website we have given a name so now what I'll do is I'll just uh, set down the compose so now our docker uh, this, com uh, this uh, the containers are getting down and here you can see both the containers have been removed too now I'll try to refresh this so here you can see it has gone okay and if i'll re refresh this too it has also gone okay now i'll again launch the containers so both they have been launched successfully now i'll try to open them so here you can see it has directly opened the dashboard and if I'll try to access our website, I mean, just I mean, uh, means by mean to say that was that uh, the volume which we have mounted over in this uh, the volume which we have created my website data and my SQL data. So it is now taking data uh, from that one. Okay, if we'll not uh, give the volumes, then what will happen? Uh, we have to reinstall the uh, this uh, WordPress container, uh, the container like giving again a site name and all that stuff so here you can see it has opened successfully and our website is up and running so that's it guys thank you guys for watching this video do like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel for more amazing tutorials on dockers